and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're taking off here from CYOW and the CJ4. And of course, we got to deal with pitch trim. Look at this, it's all over the place. Well, when we map the trim to our Bravo wheel, it's great. However, as you've started seeing lately, using the trim percent is not necessarily a great idea according to spad.next. And what we've used previously in the past uh, is kind of a hack. So why don't we hop into spad.next and we'll explain it. When you launch spad, you may have been prompted, hey, elevator trim percent being used, this is probably gonna be phased out, we run into issues with it. Now that might be because you may have downloaded some of the stuff I've done in the past or followed along with some of the things I've done and this is part of it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip it over to use something else. But first, let's try to explain what this is actually doing uh, so that you better understand. So with the elevator trim by percent where we're changing or we think we're changing the data, right? So select data definition and this was elevator trim percent and we were decrementing or incrementing by one. So that was when button pressed, add action, change data value. The fact is you're not actually changing a percent value. Percent doesn't actually exist. It's being calculated by spad.next. So the reality is when we look at the data monitor, so come over here and we're gonna use event monitor. And this is how we know. If we do a data change, there's no actual event being sent. However, if stuff does happen in the event monitor, it makes it clear that spad.next is not actually changing the data, but rather converting it into an event. So to get started, I usually like to undock my event monitor or data monitor that I might be using. Then I head on over here so I can still see what I'm controlling and I hit start. And of course, since this is the working title CJ4, they're doing a whole bunch of things uh, to keep the virtual cockpit in control, uh, nav radios and other things. So it's constantly hitting it. So I like to get rid of those by quickly stepping on those little X's to get rid of anything that's noisy. So now when you see us move the elevator trim, it's not doing percentages. What spad.next is doing for you, it's looking at the current value and then it's doing a calculation based on the amount of percent you wanted to increment or decrement by and then it uses the elevator trim set command to send that value. And so what we were running into is there were times it seemed like the sim just didn't want to respond. And you'd end up seeing this count, sometimes go 30, 35 of the same value because it would send the command, but it's like the sim didn't take it. So the next time you hit the trim, it still was really the same value. And now it was telling it, hey, go up by 1%, but not really increment by 1%. It was looking at the value, calculating what 1% would be, adding that to the value and sending that with the elevator trim set. And if the sim didn't invoke that new value, well, then when spad checks it next, it's still on the old value. So the other method was to use the trim up and trim down switches. Now these work great especially when they're on buttons that you're going to hold to see it repeat and see the events repeat. But then you've got a finickiness about the amount that it correlates to. And so when using the wheel, for example, in the Bravo throttle quadrant, the percent was a lot nicer because we were able, depending on plane by plane, we could make this by 2%, 3%, if it didn't seem to move it far enough. Or we could roll it all the way back to half a percent if we needed it to be even finer. So what we've now seen as the suggestion 
is instead of using trim percent, use trim position. Only what you have to remember is you want to do something like this because this is in radians, not in percent or not in degrees. So much finer increment. So go ahead, switch these over to trim position settings. Simply click on find your position and start off with increments like this and then go ahead and fine tune it. We're now adjusting that trim but it's no longer sending an event. It's the actual trim position. And so if we want to see how that looks, we'll go ahead, we'll get rid of the event monitor, we'll come on over here, we will undock a data monitor, we'll bring the data monitor in, we'll add that trim position, and so now we can see those values moving in lighter increments. And it really does give you that finer control over your trim. If you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that like button. Smash down the subscribe if you've yet to subscribe to the channel. And come along with us next time. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.